Yo, what's going on guys? It's Miles, also known as Mikaso, and I'm back at Angeles to do some WandaVision Air Max 90s. So for the first step we're going to be doing is taking off the shoelaces, then we're going to be inserting the shoe tree, which gives it its shape so that way whenever I press down, it's not going to move, not going to go anywhere. And the third step is we're going to be using the leather prepare and the glazer. And what that does, it takes off the factory finish off the shoe and it allows me to paint on it without the paint chipping. So for the next step, we're going to be taping up the midsoles and I'm going to be painting the upper part of the shoe. Alright, so the reason why I use the red tape first is because that way when I'm done with the custom, it's easier for me to take off the tape off the midsole. For the next step we're going to be doing is applying the stencil I created at home and we're going to be applying it onto the side of the shoe and once that's on there we're going to be covering up parts of the shoe that I do not want paint on for the airbrush. So as I was taping I realized that the red vinyl tape sticked way better than the white tape so I went ahead and used the red vinyl tape to tape up most of the parts and finish it off with the white. So that being said, we're going to start airbrushing. Alright, so now I'll be doing is adding yellow and too thin, do a little 50-50 mixture and then strain it into the airbrush and what that will do is it will prevent any clumps from going into the airbrush so that way none of it will splatter onto the shoe. When you want to airbrush, you want to make sure you keep a distance with it so the paint does not build up onto the shoe and also does not bleed into the stencil. So yeah, just make sure you, you keep your distance 6 to 8 inches away and very light coats. So now that the airbrushing is complete, we're going to start hand brushing it with the paint. So when handling paints like this, you want to make sure you have even brush strokes. Same way with the airbrush. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I did very light 2-3 to three coats so far. Right now it's at a second coat and I'm planning on doing 4-5 to five coats so that way I get that nice solid color. Alright guys, so the airbrush and the handbrush is now complete. What we're now going to do is remove the tape from the uppers. And after we do that, let's move on to the next step. Alright, so now that we removed the tape, we're now going to be adding Petal Pink and Too Soft. When we paint on this kind of material on the toe box and right here in the ankle area. And doing that, it makes the paint more flexible. That way, it does not crack. So now that the shoes are now drying, I'm gonna take a little break, buy some shoes, and I'll get right back to you guys. Three days later. All right guys, so I'm back and I'm ready to finish these shoes. So the next step what I'll be doing is painting the plastic pieces up here on the eyelids. All right, so when you're painting on the plastic pieces of the shoe, you wanna have a 50-50 ratio of too hard and the choice of paint you wanna use on the shoe. So you do have the option to mask off any pieces of the shoe you do not want paint on, but for me, I'm going to take my time and freehand painting the plastic parts of the shoe. So I just finished painting the plastic parts of the eyelets and the back tab. So now what I'll be doing is painting the front leather piece of the shoelace with autumn red. All 
All right, so now that I finished painting the eyelids and the back tab and the front section of the shoelaces, I wanna make sure I add the detail from each character on the shoe. So that way, the custom doesn't look bland and you know make sure it pops. So what I'm going to do next is add burgundy behind the stencil so that way you can stand out more. Alright, so we got most of the uppers complete. What we're now going to be doing is taping up the upper and the outsole so that way we can focus on the midsole. Alright guys, so now everything is taped up. We're now ready to start painting the midsoles. Alright, so what I'll be doing on the midsoles is I'm going to be adding the static from the show. And the colors I'll be using is Paradise Purple, Tahitian Pink, and I'm going to be using White and Black just to balance out the reference picture I have here. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're almost done painting the shoes. Next step we're gonna be doing is painting the tongues and what I'll be doing is hand brushing it. Alright, so when painting the tongues, it's very important to make a 50-50 ratio of the paint you chose and mixing it with the too soft. Alright, so the tongues are now colored in. The next step I'm gonna be doing is putting the small details from each character. So on the left shoe, I'm gonna be putting the Mind Stone on the tongue right here. And on the right shoe, I'm going to be putting the iconic hat that Scarlet Witch used in the comics onto the other patch on the right shoe. The shoes are pretty much done. All we got to do is apply the finisher. For the first finisher I'm going to go with is the matte acrylic finisher. And the second one I'm going to go with the high gloss, which is going straight to the Nike swoosh on the left pair. So for the matte finish, um, I used about one to two coats all around the shoe. And for the high gloss, I went about two to three coats to make sure it really pops out. All right, so we're back, we got the laces. And since these are two different shoes, I might as well go with two different laces. So with the gold, it's gonna go on to Vision. And the red reflective is gonna go on to Scarlet Witch. So we just finished putting the laces on, looking fresh, but we're not done yet. The last step is we're gonna be adding the water and stain repellent. And what this does, keeps it fresh and it repels water every time you walk. So I'm just gonna give it a quick spray and call it a day. All right guys, so we're finally done. The shoes came out amazing. I love the show WandaVision. As always, you guys can find me at Instagram at Mikaso, which is spelled M-C-V-S-S-O. Same as my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet, subscribe. So that's a wrap. I'm Miles, and I'll see you guys next time.